But 20 minutes ago, you weren't about to get on your bike and ride home. So, you know, the wind. Hey, it's a tailwind though. <laughs> to the corner right here? Yeah. Yeah, man, that guy didn't care about the rain yesterday. Not? Yeah, he just hooded up. Gangster. He's straight up gangster. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like getting water in my shit. Oh my gosh. If there's one bike in that entire fucking thing that's meant to get wet and work. Some gloves. Somebody got a hand job. They paid extra for the no gloves. Hey look, we caught him. I'm pretty sure he does drag. No. He dresses up like a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have any evidence. Dude, no, no evidence whatsoever. None whatsoever. But you're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he looks like the type of guy that would. Right? Am I wrong? You're not, you're not, you're not wrong. I can't hear you. I'm sitting on my dick. Watch me beat this white car.
Pete was trying to smoke you out. He dumped a lot of soot. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, will you pull my water bottles out of the freezer? Don't let me water cold. Well, they'll be frozen, not cold. It's pretty hard to drink a water bottle if it's completely frozen. It's pretty hard to drink 
drink five water bottles when two of them are in the freezer. Yeah. So you take those two out while you drink the other three. Pedal, get stronger. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the trail. Oh, come on. You got all that fucking protein. Belly full of beast. Uh-huh. It's got me sluggish. So last night, finally the night, you know, wipes off the rag. I've been holding this nut in for like eight days, dude. <laughs> she climbs up on top of me. She starts it going. Dude, it's like one minute and I'm like, oh! She's looking at me like, what the fuck? I don't know. Two seconds later, I get a text message from you. <laughs> the little cardboard box one. That's awesome. I just started laughing. She's like, what? I'm like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Just shut the door. <laughs> I don't know what it was, dude. One pump chump, man. Oh, she's doing something different or what? It's like you've been reading Cosmo again. <laughs> I'm not enough to admit it happened.
What a man, what a man, what a man, what a one minute man. <laughs> what was last night? I thought you were or what? Maybe you're in the wrong hole. Mel? No. Not with my wife. Maybe it's just been so long she didn't know.
Just put one on your bike. Just put it on your bike. Yeah. Get one of those tow behind uh, little uh, trailers. And kit it out with a gun rack. Randy, tell you about the capsule filling machine? Yeah. Can I tell you my idea? Take over room 12? No. The capsule filling. I told him that uh, it costs 40 grand, just give me 20 grand and I'll run to every fucking room in that place. And uh, it never runs out of capsules. No. I was like, I'll buy a nice step stool and I'll carry it with me into every room and they'll never run out. No, he said... Uh, Keep heavy machine full. He was looking at selling the TES, the old semi. And possibly the new semi. No. Well, he even called on that on the ride home. But... I know he's not... I know that's the one he... Because that one would be really good for like three bolt runs. Like, you know, the 10, 15,000 cap. Oh, yeah. So keep the new semi, sell the TES, sell the uh, old, semi. old semi. Sorry. No, you're good, man. You had the right away. He's the asshole. Go faster. Run into each other. Who does the most damage? That person has the right away. Okay. It's like cars have the right away. Then bike, and skateboarders, and walkers. All right. Unless it's between me and a car, then I still have the right away. See, Brian kind of supersedes all. I guess.
So uh, I said we could definitely afford it if you sell those two pieces of equipment and fire Jose. <laughs> and he said, well, actually, we're not paying Jose anything not to be here, so. I said, well, that's good. We're halfway there. And, oh, being what it is, Right here, oh, yeah. cars don't drive in. If for some reason you're waiting for two cars to pass before you slow down. I like to make cars feel comfy. Maybe I was confused. I don't know. You were. My bad. It's like I your sexuality. So I would, I wouldn't just fire my. I'd find a way to ride him up a couple times first, so you can't get fired and just start fucking it on that point. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, you know what? Fuck, Brandon tried it after they gave him a fucking. Well, that's the worst part about it is the fact that for years we've had this kind of performance and we've known the only way to get around it is get to get, well, not just get rid of a few bad apples, but actually have a system in place to discipline them so that they can't come back and say, oh, well, I didn't know or. Whatever. Well, I tried to get him and there was no way he was going for this. And the worst part was, I don't know if he complained to you, Fucking Leslie came to Diego's defense. And Randy comes up and he's like, it's just like when we had children. The kids would go, I would say, you know, don't do this. They'd go to mom and mom would say, it's okay. How do you keep going to his defense about what? That he didn't want to do what That he didn't want to do what Randy was asking him to do. He's a fucking boss. I know. You do what you're fucking told. Dude. Does she think he's like better than fucking certain jobs? I have no clue, dude. The fucking Randy tells you go go grab five rags and a bottle of bioclean and clean out trash cans. You know what you do? Yeah. You go grab a bottle of bioclean and clean out trash cans. Yeah. There isn't one fucking employee that's above any other fucking employee there. Motherfucker. Oh no. Quit. Despite what Jordan says. Except Jordan. He's Despite what Jordan says. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I, I understand that there are some people who've been there a long time yeah. and they abuse the system. And I'm not gonna say that every fucking second of the day I'm sitting my ass there in the chair working. Well, and I'm not gonna say on Fridays, I don't want yeah. to out there. And... But there are some people who haven't been there very long who work that fucking system like they're goddamn kings of the universe. One and also, look at your per, you know. I know what I do Monday morning to Friday afternoon. There's a lot of fucking work that comes Friday at 2 o'clock if I want to start to eat five bottle caps. I can wonder if they're eating five bottle caps. Yeah. You know what I mean? I figured if I kind of got you lost, you couldn't leave early. He comes in and says, Hey, so when you yelled at me yesterday for like saying I was calling you like a dog and something, like that, he's like, Who was there when you said that? I was like, I don't fucking remember. I know you were. And he goes, Well, yeah, but what QA guy was there? I was like, I don't know. I think I saw a blue shirt, but I don't remember because I was pissed at you, you know? I was like, why? Because Leslie came down and talked to him and stuff. And 
Randy asked me about it again when we were at the lunch. I was like, yeah, it's just kind of full crap. And Randy says, well, he told Leslie, I only did it once, and then Ryan got all mad at me. I was like, no. I got mad at him the third time he did it. It's when I finally swore at him and got mad, Randy. Oh, he's even trying to tell Leslie. I just did it one time and Ryan just snapped at me. And Ryan didn't tell me, he's like, yeah, I didn't believe that for a second. Yeah. Because she told me that's what it said. What a fucking... Uh. Well, the worst part was is Leslie had already talked with Diego when you had told me. And I said to Randy, because I, I was all on the thing trying to get him fired today. Yeah. I was like, we need a fucking sacrificial lamb. Yeah. And I think we fired Diego. That sets a good standard. Because he's been here long enough. You know, fucking Jose, he's already shot himself in the foot. Right. What's her face? Mindy, she was a no call, no show again, yeah, so she's right. done. done. Say, so, but if you, if you don't make an example. He's probably on drugs again. That's actually what I thought. Yeah. Got, I mean. Her life started falling apart in the last two weeks that it wouldn't surprise me. I even said, I said, I bet she's off the wagon. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck you call it when you go back on drugs. Relapse. Relapse. Yeah. As sad as it is because, you know, she was a halfway decent person. Yeah. She had her issues about showing up on time to work or being there, you know. But when she was there, she seemed cool. She was a Charlotte light. Yeah. I could take her voice. <laughs> it was only about 30% as annoying as Charlotte's. Yeah, Char I mean, deep down, Charlotte's so nice and sweet. Oh, yeah. It's just that voice. Yeah. She would give you the shirt off her back. Fucking but... paint scraping off the fucking walls, man. Just, hey, She'd already talked to Randy about, or no, Leslie had already talked to Diego. Oh yeah, and then you came up, and so I was like, fuck, this is more sh ammunition to try to get him out the door. And then Randy goes, I wish you had said something earlier. I said, well, I just found out myself. But. Well, like I said, it wasn't that big of a deal, except for, I just rubbed me the wrong way when he first did it. Yeah. And I said to him, dude. Well. I'm a human being. You need a check. Come in and burp. I yell at my kids when they just go, eh. You know, when your kids are little and they hand you a soupy cup and go, eh. Yeah. You go, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. You, it. Use your words. Stop crying. Or when you go home and you go, how was your day? And they go, eh. No. How was your day? What did you do? But then he kept doing it. So I was like, dude, I fucking told you. Then I was right in the middle of something. So then I hear him get it done. And I go over to him and he's like, never mind, I'll get this guy. You're just crying. You're just crying. Oh, dude. I want to fucking suck you in your face so bad right now. I'd probably get in trouble because I'm locked in. Oh, fuck, they're just lucky to be in the country. They'd probably sue me. I better talk to him one day. Tell him that guy. Yeah, I've got like 12 felonies. He said, like, like, Diego, you did fucking two hours in jail. You either snitched on someone or somebody came and got you out. And then your buddy, who I know, because I also bought dope from, suddenly got raided the next day. <laughs> you never went to jail for 12 fucking felonies. I get picked up for one thing into eight months. <laughs> Shut the. I thought I wasn't gonna do this with you. The truck. I roofied you. You didn't know where the fuck you were. So, yeah, I was listening to that crime in sports. So I guess there was a time, kind of late 80s. Car up. Take, 
enough and it knocks out your sleep. Build your muscles. Well, your, your body will produce that growth hormone. Yeah. And since they were kind of cracking down on steroids at that time for a little bit, <laughs> really they said, it's like eating one bite of cheesecake compared to the whole cake being yeah. steroids, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how much GH HGH it releases. And then Dr. Juke came out and said the thing with GHB, is you can take a drop of it, won't do nothing to you. You can take a teaspoon of it, it'll get you high as fuck. You can take a teaspoon in one drop and be dead. Wow. You know what I mean? The dosage is just so weird on it, depending on your size. And, and then they also like, when you overdose on it, like a non-fatal overdose, do you wake up with your ass hurting? Well, it comatoses you. Huh? And then, at the four hour mark, it totally goes from your, so you go from being fucked up comatose to at the four hour mark, you're 100% sober. Wow. Just like snapping a finger. So these guys would be in the hospital, tubes up their nose, breathalyzer just on and shit. Like, four hour mark hits, they'll sit up in bed, rip the tubes out and walk out of the hospital. Wow. Like, okay, I'm good now. Crazy how the human body works, man. But this guy was, this guy was going off doing all these. His girlfriend ended up dying. He don't remember how. And then he attacked his buddy. Well, he was all gh beat out, and his buddy <laughs> shot him in the head and killed him finally. Wow. Cops show up. See the house just trash. The buddy's all beat to hell. He's still arrested. <laughs> It's like, dude, I let him beat the hell out of me for like an hour. Finally, I had to shoot him, you know? Yeah, it's like you were saying, it. Pro wrestlers, football players, a little bit of bodybuilders, and, and like a soccer player. That's all, them, all these head trauma sports. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not letting my son he play basketball, baseball, and golf. Yeah? <laughs> Cycle. Yeah. I guess my daughter wants to go on the golf team for the junior high. Oh, yeah? My, uh, So what you're saying is I shouldn't let her be on the golf team? I let her in it three years. I was ranked number seven in all of Southern California my senior year. Had a golf scholarship. Can't get off the crank. I can blow it all, blow it all away. It was just a junior golf, college golf scholarship, but it was like the best college of the desert in Palm Springs, California. The best golf junior college in California. Wow. Yeah, I fucked it up. Could um, be, it could be you that I'm not watching on TV every Saturday and Sunday. It's, uh, do you girl like girls? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. I'd prefer it. Wait till she joins the golf team. Don't get me wrong, man. I wish all my girls would be lesbians. <laughs> you don't want grandkids? It's not a grandkid thing, man. It's some fucker just fucking her over, getting her pregnant and leaving her ass. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Bruises heal. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. But that's why I'm totally okay with that alternative lifestyle. See, but I just wish that she'd be one of those really, really minority minorities. Huh? 
I wanted to be one of the super super minorities. Republican. Or I shouldn't say Republican. Conservative and gay. No, you can't be conservative. You can't be Republican and gay. You can't be conservative and gay. That's why I keep trying to explain to you I'm not a liberal. I'm a Democrat. But I'm not a liberal. Ah, you're a liberal. No. You're a liberal cocksucker. You believe in abortion and gay marriage and... I don't believe in total banning of all weapons and guns and... Hey, I almost forgot we needed to have a, a PSA every day before we get on the road. Telling kids not to stare at the sun. Because of the eclipse? Because of the eclipse. Or the non-eclipse. Yeah. On your left. You see the video of Donald Trump staring at it? Yeah. When that Donald Trump staring at the eclipse. And right next to it, Mike Pence touching that thing that one day that said, do not touch. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, you're president and vice president. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta just laugh. But the emails. We're fucked either way, man. Yeah. Shuttlecock. Is that what that was? That was a shuttlecock. Yeah, no, I, uh, I've turned it all off. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking done. It's sad, pathetic. I mean, not just because it's sad and pathetic, but because it just, motherfuckers won't let shit go. I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, my, I'm sure you had no problem with motherfuckers didn't let shit go for the last eight years. Oh, of course not. Exactly. It's the other way. Yeah, I know. That's the point there. That's why motherfuckers ain't letting it go. I'm like, no, 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 no. You had your turn for eight years. Yeah, but and Obama... It wasn't as bad as it is now. Obama was supposed to be a serious fucking president, though. We got exactly what we expected with he Trump. He was just a Kenyan Muslim terrorist. Well, yeah, for but that's what we expected. Years. Kenyan Muslim terrorist. <laughs> really? But he's not. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that guy that stands up for gay marriage and smokes cigarettes and drinks beer. What a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and he ate some sausage, too. I watched oh, it. Sausage. You want bacon, some sausage? Bacon cheeseburger. Ah, nothing says Muslim terrorist to me anyway. <laughs> the smoking, drinking, gay rights activists. Hey man, but all them other Muzzy terrorists, the nights before they blew themselves up or went into the airplanes. Air clubs, huh? Yep. Yeah. See? But That's not did, a defense. I think they had something like they're allowed to do that like 24 hours before they they perform jihad or something like that. It's like when they let the little Amish kids out for a year to live in the world. You ever see that reality show? I never watched it, but I saw like the premise of it. Yeah. Amish Mafia. Can you go for your record up here? No. Why not? It's got a tailwind. It'd be cheating. You should let me train you out too. It's tailwind. No. I've tied it now three times. Oh, I know. That's why you gotta beat it. Nah. You just won't do it in front of me. Then you're like, if I don't get it, Ryan will be like, D -d -d -d. no, I won't. No, I'm not afraid of it. I don't want to leave you behind, man. I feel sad. I'll set you back up. I actually tried a little bit today cool. on that time trial one. Yeah. But I realized I didn't start fast enough. So I'm sure I won't be any faster. I didn't pick it up till like midway. Runner. Is that Daryl? Out jogging, yeah, that's Daryl. Cigarette dangling. I'm not sure if he's a beer guy or a hard liquor guy. Uh. But when he comes back from lunch, woo, you get to go. He's got that smell. Like you did that one day. Like I did that one day. Man, if I could drink still, especially now that I got the calories to burn, ah. fuck. What the fuck? 
Totally looked like it's blocked off, huh? Yes, it did. <laughs> Nothing off the dude. Come on, let's go! Buffet. The river? No, your last meal on death row. Woo! Never stop eating. <laughs> and then you don't care because then when they kill you, when you know your fucking bowels release. Yeah. Fuck. Clean my shit up. Yep. It's always right about that road that this backpack starts to get heavy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you got all your clothes in it today, huh? Yeah, and a can of enchilada sauce. Ooh. Having tostadas for dinner. Oh, is that why you were like sending? I got a can of red enchilada sauce. Are you posting that on Instagram? No. Oh, that's why it popped up, yeah. I didn't mean for it to go on Instagram if it did. I thought that's what you were titling your picture. Yeah. I got a can of red angelos. What does it mean? Crack this curve. I don't even know what I'm having for dinner. We got a Game of Thrones episode to watch. Too. I downloaded it off Google Drive this morning. Stalker! Hey. Stalker! Hey. Right. 1.4 gigs for the episode. Just smoking their weed, enjoying the trail. Hell yeah! Actually, I couldn't smell any weed. You probably can't afford it. Well, they finish it off in your car. I actually don't think that the mom does. 
oddly enough. Yeah, I wouldn't do it right here on the trail anyways. I seen a, a bike cop on here one day. No. Just once. No. No. No way. I can do a bike cop. Which one of the SFPD is fit enough to ride a bike? Oh shit, yeah, we went to the novel thing with three of them. They're sheriffs. No, they're fucking sergeant. Utah County Jail employees. Oh, okay. Well, that makes them a sheriff. Let's get really real. Sorry, sheriff's deputies. Let's get really real. They're deputies. When they go to work, they don't wear a gun. Huh. You can't have a gun in jail. Ah. Prison? You can't have jail. Gun. Jail? No gun. SWAT will show up if there's a real situation. I ever tell you? They'll shoot the rubber bullets and beanbags. <laughs> Done. My uh, my mom wanted my dad to be a corrections officer because he was an MP uh -huh. when he got out or when they were looking for jobs. And uh, so my dad, oh fuck. Oh. This guy every goddamn day. So my dad, MP. my dad was an MP in the service. Wanted to be a character guy. Well, he didn't want to. My mom, mom wanted, to be. wanted him to be because it paid well at the time. Right. Folsom Prison was hiring like crazy. Yeah. And so my mom said, well, go get a job because all the corrections officers were making all this mad money. Prison. That's a state government. Yeah. So my dad, knowing what he knew, was like, I can't say no, because if I say no, she'll flip a bitch and, you know, go crazy on him. So he got him, or, yeah, he, so he purposely failed his shooting exam. <laughs> well, that's one way. Said he had to score 90 out of 100, and he scored 88. You didn't want to look like a complete dumbass. Yeah. Go out and throw like a 40. Yep. It's like, I'm just missing. And then they call him up, Mr. McKenzie, we've decided you did so good on all your other tests. Well, so. Two point slide. What's interesting. <laughs> what's interesting is I always thought that I was a lot more like my dad than my mom because I got along with him so well. But I'm starting to realize now, later on in life, I'm a lot more like my mom. Which is why we don't get along. Right. And one thing that I can do really well is flip off my personality. Like, yeah. if I don't want to deal with someone, I can turn into an asshole. You're kind of a Yeah. I think that's why you and I get along. We just flip off different words. Psychopathy. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't think my dad could do that. Yeah. Because my dad was well, always... Can't. My dad was always a certain way. Yeah. He didn't have two different modes. Yeah, normal people can't. They are who they are. Oh. Psychopaths. And I just always assumed that most people were able to, like, be themselves at work and be themselves at home and be themselves with friends and... Like, you think I have lunch with Randy the same way I have lunch with Brian Wood? Exactly. I have dinner with my wife and kids the same way I have dinner with my in-laws, the same way I have dinner with you. Right. No. <laughs> and I've never thought about it as any kind of like an odd thing, but well, as I've gotten to know people, like there's some people that they're the same way no matter what. Right. David, uh, Randy's son-in-law. Yeah. He is who he is. And so when we first started hanging out, he was like, well, why aren't you like this all the time? I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, completely different when you're at work. I'm like, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> See, 
thing is why I don't get along with some people they think there is they think they can go up in the break room and joke with me the same way they can down in powder. It's like whoa, 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 my boss is right over there. Yeah. You can't say shit like that to me right here. Yeah. Of my personality. <clears throat> you don't just express your feelings, you express what you feel the other people around you want you to feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for some time, I mean, your douchery still comes out. Oh, yeah. It's like Papa, man. I am what I am. I try to be an asshole sometimes. But... I always find being an asshole is the best way to start. Because yeah. then people expect that. So when you're nice, surprising. yeah, when you're nice, it's a surprise. Because they know better, so you don't have to be that way all the time. Yeah. But sometimes it's just funner. Oh yeah, some people say- You talk too long, bro. Nah, man, that's a word that goes way back. My wife gets on me for that. My wife? Or the, or the word Phil? Or feel? From the Spanish commercial talking about the hometown feel. Oh. Only she said hometown Phil. That's funny. My wife is watching, she said, who the fuck's Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Punxsutawney Phil. Don't have hometown Phil anymore. What, did he die? <laughs> did he move? He's got that Northwest accent where they think they have to accentuate every single syllable. Every. Every. Not every. Can you hand me something out of the glove compartment? Out of the what? <laughs> oh, you mean out of the jockey box? Sure, I'll get it for you. Jockey box. You gonna put on your bathing suit? You mean my swim trunks? Shit, I'll put my swim trunks on. Sure as hell ain't gonna go bathe in them. So I go swimming in them. You mean swimming? No, I mean swimming. <laughs> she say woman, woman? I don't know. I haven't said that about that one. I've got a crush on Wonder Woman though. Really? Yeah. Not quite my type, but... 
little too foreign and tall for me. I like short jumps. I honestly don't know who she is. Oh, you haven't seen Wonder Woman yet? No. It's a pretty good movie, yeah. I haven't seen Wonder Woman or the Ben Affleck Batman. Uh, everything's alright. And I haven't seen any of the new Supermans. Yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman's good though. It's just a good movie. It's a good story. It actually is. Nice and bright. Into the wind the whole way home. That's the opposite of what you want to do. Oh, there's the weak skunk. Part of the skunk, you know. Skunky, funky, smelly green shit. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing that climb today. What? I'm definitely not doing that climb. No? Nah. Just coming out of the golf course about, or the park about to do. Was he yelling at you or are you yelling at him? Oh, you going to turn around? You got your yak? Oh yeah. Nice. I forgot about that. I need to talk shit more often when we're riding together. Definitely. Like, Jimmy got his yak. What? Say something. Oh, Your Honor, we both feared for our lives. I was afraid and he was armed. I saw a gun too. I don't know where it went. He was definitely reaching for some sort of holster. His last words were, I'm a calf, both you fools. And then Jimmy unloaded the clip. And then he put another clip in and unloaded it. His fingers were still all moving, Your Honor. We weren't sure if it was just spas spasming from the bullet wounds. Or Jimmy just misses. <laughs> I wonder if he was still alive. I told him Walking Dead, you gotta shoot him in the head. They say shoot until the threat's over. <laughs> Worst thing you can do is tell a judge how many times you pulled the trigger. Until the bullets ran out, Your Honor. I pulled that trigger until the threat stopped. How many times? As many as it took. I got one lady that killed her rapist. And they said, why did you shoot him 10, or, why did you shoot him 10 times or something like that? And she said, because the clip didn't hold 11 bullets. Yeah. And they freed her. The movies do a terrible job of, to, of making you believe that like one or two bullets will put somebody down. It's just not the case. Or that a gun has an unlimited amount of bullets. That too. All right, man. All right, see ya. See you tomorrow.